right. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is edit mode. So if we can, if we look right here in our uh, view, this uh, right top left corner, rather, you can see an uh, object mode showing in this box. Uh, you choose that uh, in object mode. So uh, we can the editing we can actually do to our objects is limited. All we can do is to scale, rotate, and uh, scale, rotate, and move. So uh, yeah, in the edit mode, we actually have more control over the object. So in order to uh, explain. Uh, the edit mode for that to create a new file so uh, to create a new file then that is control n and i'll click on general okay save so uh first of all i want to turn on my screencast key so you can see what i'm doing yes so uh now if i select this cube and i click on this drop down here like i said i can change it into a various mode so the part i want to talk about now is the edit mode and that's what we are going to focus on mostly so if I click here, you can see that we are already in the edit mode. So to switch between edit mode and uh, object mode, the shortcut is tab on your keyboard. So if I press tab, I'll go back to object mode. And if I press tab, I'll go into edit mode. And also, uh, one thing to mention, you can only go into edit mode on a selected object. So for now, let's assume there is another cube. If I select this cube and I press tab, this is not an object mode. I can't work on this object. I, mean, I can only work on the object I selected before going into object mode so in this yeah so uh now in edit mode you can see that we have various and uh, various we have some extra and uh, stuff that we are not seeing in object mode so um uh, each of your objects consists of vertex vertex which is all these points it's a uh, vertex edge which is all these lines and faces which is a uh, I think they are kind of self-explanatory. Vertex are more like points. Edges consist of uh, two vertex. That is the line in between all these lines you see on your object. And faces consist of three or more vertices. Yeah, so this is face. So alternatively, you can just you can switch between vertex select mode, edge select mode, and face select mode. So currently, we are in a vertex select mode by default. Which means you can select each and vertex individually. So if you click here, it will change to edge select mode. So you can click on each edge to select a uh, select them. And if you click on this last one, you will select face. So uh, if you're in face select mode, you can't select edges or vertices individually. If you're in edge select mode, you can't select vertices. But if you select four edges, that face will be selected. Same with uh, Vertex select mode. You can't uh, in vertex select mode. You can select two vertices to select an edge, or you can select four vertices to select an entire face. So uh, one thing you can do, you can move each of these individual vertices with, uh, just like you do in the object view, G to move. So for now, because this face is selected, if I press G to move this entire face, if I press S, it would scale this entire face, and if I press R on my keyboard, it would rotate this entire face so same thing with vertex you can just select a single vertex g to move now because a vertex is just a single point you can't rotate or scale if you try to scale it will just remain as it is but if you select uh let's see an edge for example and press s to scale you can scale just this edge down or you can rotate just this edge same thing with faces so um uh, now so uh, let me talk about something new a new if you look here, you can notice many other uh, tools actually available compared to the object mode where you have just this to move, rotate, and scale. So if you go into edit mode, you can see a whole lot of extra tools here which can help you when modeling something. Now, uh, most part of this tutorial will be using shortcuts. So for now, let's just uh, ignore all this. Now, the first thing I want to show you is extrude. To extrude, uh, to extrude your a face, a vertex, or an, an edge. So if you select, let me use a face for example. Now. If you select a face and you press E, it will bring this out. And yeah, you can move it around. So that is, E is the shortcut to extrude. Alternatively, you can actually come here, click on this extrude region, and once you click on this close and drag it out, it will extrude. But uh, I think it's always easier and more efficient when you use the shortcut while uh, moving. So to extrude, you select your face, 
and E to extrude. Or if you select a single edge and E, it would also extrude. But just that edge, like it will bring out just like a sheet from it. Same thing with a vertex. If you select a vertex and extrude, it will just bring out a point. So in most cases, actually, when you are going to be extruding, you want to be in face or in a few cases, maybe edges and eventually you come to vertex too. But it's not really that. It's mostly just faces. So uh, now another uh, operation I want to uh, talk about is insert. Insert is almost like extruding, but just and the shortcut when insert is I. So if you press I on your keyboard, it will bring in the face like inward. So also you can do something like this with extruding. In this case, you press E to extrude and S to scale the extruded faces. If you notice, it's kind of similar to insert. So what is insert does? Like it does two operations at the same time. That is extrude and bring it in, just like you are bringing in the face. I to insert, so you can insert and bring the face inward. And also to extrude, let me come here. To extrude, you can. Use E to extrude downward and upward. So, for example, let's assume you want to create like a box or more like a square tank. You can just extrude it inward and you can see that you've got this uh, shape. So, E to extrude, I to insert, E to extrude, I to insert, D to move, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, and scale it up. E to extrude, I to insert, E to extrude. So uh, just with this inserting and extruding, you can create a kind of some kind of interesting shapes. So uh, in the next video, we will be modeling a simple cup using this uh, just these uh, techniques that I've mentioned here.